Hi everyone, this is a book that I really like. It's called Elements of Complex Analysis. It's by Sanishin and Green. And I think this is a wonderful book. I use this book to um, self-study and to just find examples of just like analysis problems. Because what happened was um, I, I found this book because I wanted a book on complex analysis. And it was really inexpensive. So I was like, oh, okay. I think it was like less than $10. So I bought it. Um, and yeah, yeah. And it's, it's pretty good. Let me just show you the book. It's kind of a strange one. So the topics aren't really what you would expect. So, and these are the people that wrote the book. Jacob Sonnenschein, Sonnenschein, hope I'm saying that right. Elements of Complex Analysis and Simon Green. And it's the Dickinson Publishing Company, right, Inc. Encino, California, and Belmont, California. So I, I, uh, I've never heard of them here. 1977, so really old school, right? Like I, I didn't even exist. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Wow, many, many of us did exist, but a lot. I mean, that's 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 a long time ago, right? Um, algebraic and topological preliminaries. So I've read most of this stuff. Um, it's really good. It's really clean. It moves really quickly. Look, it goes from groups. To rings and fields to vector spaces really really quickly so it's like a like a quick recap and I, and I like that especially because I've already seen all this stuff so it's kind of like a nice refresher or I, I don't know and different books give you different explanations so I think this is a wonderful book if you can find this book get it um, as always I'll try to I'll try to leave a link in the description if I can find any copies but I don't know if I can find any so Complex numbers, topology of the complex plane, differentiable functions, homotopy and line integrals, Cauchy's theorem, Cauchy's formula, analytic functions, power series, Laurent series, residues and their applications, conformal mappings, right? So just tons of mathematics here. And then look, this is the best part. Look, solutions to odd number problems. Let me show you those. So they're actually quite good. I know this because I've, I've worked through this book. And that's one of the highlights of this book. So let me show you. I mean, look at all of these answers. It's just thick. I mean, it's ridiculous. Look, look, look at this. So here's where it ends. Solutions to odd number problems. So look, there's actually like solutions. You see this? Actual solutions, not just like, so they've done a great job with this. So I think this makes it a, a wonderful book for self-study. And that's why I used it. I was able to like, you know, go in the, I, was, I read the book, you can read the book. And then when you get to the exercises, let me just show you. Okay. Okay, so here's some exercises, right? Problems show that if uh, R is a ring under that, um, then, uh, you know, under addition and multiplication, then R under multiplication need not be a group. So at 0.5, Okay, let's, let's see if we can find that in the solutions. See what it says, right? So let's check it, right? See what it, see what it tells us. Uh, it says here, um, consider the ring of integers, okay? Obviously the integers are not a group with respect to multiplication, that's true. Uh, indeed, 2 to the negative 1 is not an integer, right? 1 half is not an integer. Thus, 2 has no inverse in the ring of integers, right? Yeah, there's no, um, <clears throat> you know, like the number 2 doesn't have uh, an inverse, so, yeah. So it can't be a group because that violates one of the conditions of being a group. So uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good book, pretty good book. Pretty good. Holomorphic functions. So it has other stuff in it as well, as you can see, so... Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, Rocher's theorem, applications of Rocher's theorem. Yeah, you study this stuff in, um, if you, if, as an undergrad, so if you're in school, like right now, if you're in college or if you wanna learn this, like what, what you can do. I have videos on this, they're on the internet, they're here on YouTube, they're free, they're just on YouTube. I don't have any courses on this, but I do have YouTube videos uh, on complex variables, I have a playlist. And uh, just search on, on my channel, complex variables, and you'll get like videos. I have a lot of proofs. Um, I go through them really carefully. So if you're like trying to learn to write proofs uh, and trying to learn complex variables at the same time, um, it could be helpful. A lot of them are actual like they're problems from the book. They're exercises from books. They're, you know, they're, they're usually, sometimes they're test questions or you know, so homework problems. 
So they help you. If you do those problems, sometimes those questions will show up on your test. You know, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. They're good questions um, that can are beneficial to know how to prove. Um, so yeah. Yeah, here's the definition of a topology. Let E be a space in F, a collection of subsets of E. We shall call F a topology for E if it satisfies the following conditions. So the empty set and E are in F, or sorry, tau, tau, sorry. The union of an arbitrary family O of sets belonging to tau, belongs to tau. I was, I was reading it through the, uh, um, so I can see the book as I'm making this video, but I can also see what I'm recording. And it's a lot smaller, and I tend to look at that sometimes, and so it's hard to see the letters. And if I look at the book, I can clearly see it. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And they, here they define it, right? So the unit of an arbitrary family O of sets belongs to tau, belonging to tau, belongs to tau, and the intersection of a finite family O of sets uh, belonging to tau, belongs to tau. I remember I have a book that um, does it for two. And if you can do it for two, by induction, you can do it for a finite number. Uh, anyways, really cool. Um, and that's one of the things you get from different books, right? You can, you can look at different definitions. I have another book that uh, defines topologies in terms of neighborhood systems. And then it shows that it's equivalent to this definition. So you can do it that way as well. So that's the thing in mathematics. A, a lot of times when you're learning math, you learn something. And then you realize, hey, wait a minute. Um, that one thing can be introduced a different way because you can define things different ways and then you can show that those definitions are actually equivalent, um, which is something that happens. Here, here we go. Here's an example. Theorem theorem 0 0.2. This is, this is kind of like I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps here. The following statements are equivalent, right? So this function here is continuous on E1. So the function here, this is called the domain, by the way, if you don't know what this notation means. This is a function f and E sub 1 is the domain. E sub 2 is the codomain. It's a mapping. And that's equivalent to given any open set, any open set that's a subset in the codomain, uh, the preimage of that set is a subset of the domain and is, and is open, is open, and is open in here, is open in this set. And given any closed set, um, same thing. And so these are all equivalent. And this is an interesting proof. Uh, I don't know if I have a video for this proof. I think I have some of it, um, yeah. And I remember doing this in, in, in topology. Right? This is, I remember proving it in my topology class, actually. So it's kind of cool that it's in this book. Um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. I actually have topology videos. They're free, they're here on YouTube. I don't have a topology course or anything, but I do have, I do have free videos here on YouTube. Just go to my channel if you wanna learn topology as well. I have topology videos and complex analysis videos, so yeah. If you do want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathfit.com. They're actually on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from my website because it helps me a lot. And plus, I've lowered the price to like the bare minimum that it let me lower them to. So I think you'll get a low price. So yeah, this book is awesome. Again, I don't, I don't think there's that many copies available of this book on, on the internet because it's kind of rare. Um, I don't know. I will look. I, I will try to leave a link in the description if there's any. But overall, I think this is a good book. It's good for self-study. Um, it's got a lot of mathematics. You do need a certain level of mathematical maturity to read this book though, so just keep that in mind. So um, you see what it's like, so you can make a decision as to whether or not you think you can handle it. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.